Okay, so let's take a look and see, can we find an example? Remember, method one for testing validity is to try to prove it invalid. So can we consistently describe a situation in which the premises are true and the conclusions false? Well, let's imagine a case in which John is the only logic student who didn't study and did poorly on the test. In that case, one's true, right, because almost all the logic students did well on the test, you know, out of the class of uh, 25, 30, whatever, 40, there was only one guy who didn't do well. And two is also true, that is, John is a logic student, however, in that case, three is false. So it's possible for those premises to be true and the conclusion false. Not likely, but it's possible. So this is not a valid argument. Now just to remind ourselves that there's another way of proving invalidity, let's take a look at method two. Is there an argument of the same logical form or pattern with true premises and false conclusion? Well, first of all, let's see what the pattern is. It looks like it's almost all A's are B's. X is an A, therefore X is a B. Well, try this one out. We're going to make A vice presidential candidates, B men, and X Geraldine Ferraro. Ge one and two are both true. Almost all vice presidential candidates in the United States I'm talking about are men. There was only one exception, Geraldine Ferraro, who ran with Walter Mondale in, oh, you know, I forgot what year, but it was before 2000. So all of, almost all vice presidential candidates are men. Sorry, two is also true because Geraldine Ferraro is or was a vice presidential candidate, but Geraldine Ferraro was not a man. So here we have a parallel argument. Almost all president, vice presidential candidates are men. Geraldine Ferraro is a vice presidential candidate. Therefore, Geraldine Ferraro is a man. So, method three of testing validity, it's not a known valid argument pattern. And in fact, it's not a good, it's not a valid, it's not conclusive reasoning. Okay, so this argument isn't valid, but this is kind of disturbing because let's take a look at it. The argument looks like it's in some sense a good argument. 